here for the Zelda Universe presents a 2D versus 3D showdown with The Legend of Zelda. Now, for the sake of the panel, all top-down games are going to be considered 2D because if we called this a top-down showdown, that would attract the wrong kind of audience. <laughs> So we're going to call this 2D versus 3D because this is going to be a family-friendly event. Everybody on the panel has a heads up. At least PG-13. Hush, chat. Family-friendly. <laughs> now to get things started, just to give you an idea of how things are going to go, three of us are on Team 2D, three of us are on Team 3D. We're going to give you a little bit about ourselves and then we're going to go into why we think either 2D or 3D is better. And then we're going to open it up to you guys. So we have a mic here and a mic on that side so you guys can all line up one at a time. And you'll just give what, it, well, I mean, you can line up as many, but it'll say one at a time. Sorry. And then you can just give your reasoning as, as to what your favorite is. We're going to take all those down. Then we're going to do some trivia questions. And then we're going to vote on what's better 2D versus 3D. Everything sound good for everybody? Yeah. We're good? I'm great. All right, let's get let's started. Let's do it. Let's party. Jiggy, can you stop talking the front row? <laughs> I didn't say anything to the panel. Sir, please. Is there something you would like to share with the class? Jiggy's over here heckling the, the actors. Talk about Zelda. All right, you know what? <laughs> well, that's what we're here for. My name's Amanda Van Heil, and I'm part of Team 2D. I am the on-camera host, so I do like a lot of the videos and do video directing and just show up places and talk about Zelda. My name is Mary. I am the social media director for Zelda Universe. Hi, I'm Andrew. I go by Laughing Boy LP on the internet. I am a content... <laughs> Who? Um, I'm a content creator streamer, and I also do a lot of help and coordination with Zelda Universe on the side. Uh, my name is Jess Rappaport. I am the owner of Zelda Universe. I'm also the founder of Zelda Wiki and a very proud trans woman. Thank you. Now I have to follow that. Uh, <laughs> I'm Elias Thompson. I do live content and play Zelda games. Uh, my name's Cass Garrett. I guess I'm a stream coordinator, whatever that means. I don't know, that's um, what you told me you were. I don't know what that is. That's what you told me you're, you're you were, so that's what I put. I mostly do special events. I go to our various charity events. I'm the assistant director for Zuthon, which is our charity event. And I, I guess I'm also a trans woman. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. All right, so let's start this off. The way we're going to do is I'll go me, then Jess, then Mary, then Elias then Andrew, and then Cass. All right, that way we go every other one. All right. All right, so Team 2D, why would I say this is the best? Oh, let me get out of this so I can type on here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It was bring back Hamtaro. Whoa, whoa. Bring back Nintendo's no, no, best Don't show the desktop. Hamtaro. Don't show the desktop. Don't whoa. show the desktop. Don't need to whoa. See that. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is too behind the scenes. This is proof that I'm like this all the time. All right. So, Team 2D, so why do I think 2D games are the best? It doesn't, ref it doesn't rely on flashy graphics, it has to have fun gameplay to be a good game. Ah uh, yes, because Nintendo's known for flashy graphics. <laughs> That's pretty weak. <laughs> Alright, Jess? I think 3D is the best because they have the best accessibility. They're just, yeah, they're the most accessible games. You can actually finish a 3D Zelda game. 2D Zelda games can be more obtuse. Really? Because I've finished plenty of 2D games. N not, By to devil, comparison. not to Devil's Advocate, but Skyward Sword is known for its accessibility. <laughs> <laughs> You're on Team 3D. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, that's the one Zelda game I haven't played, so. <laughs> Where are you playing the Oracle game? To be fair, I mean, she's Team 3D, so like, you don't have to play those games. Wait, hold on, I actually have a pretty decent question. 
What about a link between worlds? Is that 3D or 2D? 2D. 2D. You're doing top 2D. down. 2D. Top, yeah. top down. Top down. Do you want to change teams? We have space. I feel like Top Down Showdown should have been the name of this panel. <laughs> wait, but but the train in Spirit Tracks is first person, so. Yeah, wait, are, yeah, is Spirit Tracks. And yeah, Phantom can we Hourglass please give Phantom 3D? Hourglass and Spirit Tracks a Team 3D? I think they deserve it. What do you guys say? You know what? Y'all can have them. Yeah. Spirit Tracks. <laughs> Spirit Tracks is the most underrated Zelda game. I would also and agree with that statement. Okay. <laughs> oh, now, look three at that. teams. Phantom 2D, Hourglass. 3D. Suck it, though. Yes. You guys can have those. This is unraveling yeah, you guys, fast. Y'all are good to have them. I take, I take Spirit Tracks. Don't give me Phantom Spirit Hourglass. Spirit Tracks would be happy to have you. You can have Phantom Hourglass. They're a package deal. <laughs> All right. One, what are we talking All about? Right. Well, Mary, it's your turn. <laughs> it's my turn. Uh, well, the NES Zelda had to walk so that Breath of the Wild could run. It laid the template for all of the Zelda games. And also, we've also got some fun collaborations like Capcom uh, with Minish Cap and the Oracle games. Those are incredible 2D Zeldas. They're very, very memorable. And I know some of y'all may disagree with me. I think it's a positive. The CDI. All, you, all, you, <laughs> all you're saying is that Nintendo was so bored with 2D Zeldas, they just pawned it off on other companies to do it better. They were being creative with their IP. Listen, if it wasn't for the CDI, we wouldn't have PlayStation, so everybody should just be thankful. We wouldn't have RZ. That's true. Yes, true. we love RZ. It's because RZ doesn't take five years to load. <laughs> And you can play it on a console that's not like 30 years old. I don't know. $30,000 to find. You can play the Alliance. Link to the Past on yeah. the Your turn. Years old. Oh, yeah. Um, I feel like I should just list everything Mary said, but why it makes 3D better. Um, it, uh, yeah, like the, the, when you think like people, uh, Oh, a new Zelda game's coming out. They, they're thinking of the next Breath of the Wild, the next Twilight Princess, the next 3D Zelda game, which has fully fleshed out stories, is, has much mass and broader appeal. Um, I think you said that the original walked so that w our games could run, and I think that's true, because we run with our games over here. Yeah, 3D runs. <laughs> Based. I don't know what that means. <laughs> 3D runs. 3D runs. <laughs> 3D runs. <laughs> 3D runs. <laughs> Sonic. I didn't want to put 3D runs just by itself because that sounds like you've got. It does run on the hardware. It does, it run, does at run 15 <laughs> frames a second, baby. Stomach problems. No, you're thinking of the CDI games. Shut up, Jiggy. Uh, <laughs> dang. Where's our chat moderator? <laughs> on a good day. I mean, when I think about the 2D games, I think about some of my favorite games of the series and um, how, in terms of experimentation, you had, I mean, obviously Team 3D has Majora's Mask, but you also kind of have the base of that, which is Link's Awakening. And um, that was when they decided to try to take Zelda in a different direction based on the limitations of the system. Um, you have different characters, you have a different conversation style, you have a different total story entirely. Like, it's completely different from what the Zelda formula would kind of go on um, in the later games. Uh, for the 2D games, I, you know, you have, for better or for worse, you have Adventures of Link, which was Nintendo trying to figure out where to take the series and I think that's when, up until Breath of the Wild, is when Nintendo took their biggest risks. Um, so, like, a lot of the 2D games tend to try new things, and then you have Link to the Past, which is kind of the, at that time, like, the ultimate Zelda game. It was supposed to be what all of that was leading up to. This is what we think Zelda is going to look like, and whether or not they continued on with the franchise, uh, that was what they kind of wanted Zelda to be. So, I think the 2D Zeldas have the more experimental games that I think are more memorable. I know you mentioned Majora's Mask, and I just want to say my nephew wanted me to share that he finds Majora's Mask overrated, so I'm just putting that out there. He's right. <laughs> oh, shocker. He seriously just said, say Majora's Mask is overrated. I can't believe the underrated game is overrated. I was, yeah, I was kind of surprised that he used, like, the worst 3D game as a comparison to his 2D game, but, you know. Anyway, I, <laughs> I, I unfamously base my best Zelda games off of what I think is best for replayability. 
And I think that infinitely more people want to pick up and replay a 3D Zelda game than people want to pick up and replay a 2D Zelda game. Not my Not me. See, I'd rather play, replay a 2D game because it's less of an investment. I, like, yeah. Like, Breath of the Wild's not an investment. Breath of the Wild. That's why I uh, want to bring Hey, oh, man, wait. that's not our I'm team. on the wrong that's team. Wild. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Judy wins. I'm Panel's <laughs> over. Woo! <laughs> we did it. Uh, I think we we have, are so I back, think we chat. We have, uh, have, like, someone from the other team has snuck into our team. <laughs> the is sabotaging. Is each team mole. has a plant. Listen, my, my, my hot take is always mole. that Ocarina through Skyward Sword were great, and then Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are okay. And they know what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and that is your opinion that you're free to have. What? We're, We're on the to same team because we share one opinion. <laughs> All right, well, did we give our reasons? Yeah. Yep. All right, well, now I want to hear from you guys. So we've got a mic on that side, mic on that side. You guys go ahead and start lining up. I want to hear this. This is going to be fun. Jiggy, now you can Jiggy, talk. Jiggy, you're allowed to talk now. <laughs> but you have to get in line. Damn, get in line. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you'll just how, shout things out. How noble of you. All right. So, who would like okay. to go first? We'll go left, right, left, right. That's how we're going to do okay. it. Okay. Hello. Hello. So, uh, I'm very much Team 3D, okay. maybe because of my yeah. age, but also, um, I think Team 2D lacks the you know, uh, evidence to be able to articulate an argument for the jump of 3D after, you know, to the point of the panelists here, um, the jump from Skyward Sword to Breath of the Wild was something brand new for 3D for all of Zelda, but it still worked. And you can say it's okay, you can say it's good, you can say it's the best ever, but it was a totally different mentality that they came into, and I don't think 2D has that same sort of revolution. Good points. I also yes. think like I was about 2D, to say, are we allowed when to, 2D to does tell experiment. him he's wrong? Or? I mean, we're free to say all sorts of things. All right, give me one. Give me a second. Yeah. <laughs> Did you not hear the thing that I just said? Okay, but like, you were wrong. Ago. <laughs> yeah, just because you said it doesn't that, make it right. <laughs> when Did you not play Adventure of Link and how different that was, even if it was a mistake? Like, and Skyward, <laughs> <still>. the Skyward <laughs> Sword and Breath the of the Wild weren't when, new when experiences? When you think about Ocarina of Time, Ocarina of Time kind of uses oh the gosh. Link to the Past template, right? Yeah, except there's one key difference. It was the first 3D Zelda game. That's a little new. And what's really when, funny about that is that you didn't let me finish my sentence. Um, <laughs> but when you keep going after Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask is pretty experimental to be sure. But then when you have Twilight Princess, you have Skyward Sword. I like how you. Skyward Sword lot wasn't of those experimental. 3D type but games I, tend to go based on the same formula. And the biggest jump that you see in the 3D era, other than it being in 3D, is basically Breath of the Wild. Um, but when you look at the 2D side of things, you had all these different ideas of what they wanted, uh, Nintendo wanted a Zelda game to be because you had all these different limited formats in order to make a Zelda game. And even once you start to get to the 3D area, you still see games like the Oracles games that kind of take the series, uh, what the template that A Link to the Past kind of made, but also continues to strive to make the game look and feel different. You um, could make the, that argument for every like Zelda game iteration, You're going to have to wait an hour in order to come up with whatever you're booing about, G. <laughs> the issue is that when, when they experiment with the 2D games, the experiments are bad games. When they 3D... When they experiment with the 3D games, I don't know. Link's Awakening is not a bad game. Minish Cap Minish would like Cap's a word. Oh, God. Not an oh, God. If Awakening Rebecca not were here to hear yes, you now. Link's Awakening okay. follows the Link to the Past template. Totally. It's still different. All right. This side. All right. So the way I look at this is kind of 2D is more everything's in front of you, and the challenge comes from, like, reflexes, while 3D seems to be more look over this way and hope you don't get hit by something behind you, or turn, aim, claw shot, land, turn, aim, claw shot again. 2D just feels more faster paced. And because in 2D, you can see this in Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time. Yeah, Link to the Past. You walk into Link to the pa oh, Dungeon in Link to the Past, you have like spikes coming at you, you have wizard robes going few, few, few at you, and it's, you're engaged, you're gripping your controller, you're, you're going to have like a challenge to get through the room. And you grab the key, you go to the next room. You go to Ocarina of Time, the top. Link to the past, the tiles come up and come flying at you. You have to dodge them. 
3D, you just put shield up, everything's blocked. It's less, it's less of a challenge of dodge all this and more of just wait for the right time, run in, attack, reload on hearts, keep going. So the argument is what? <laughs> 2D, 2D, I the argument, the that argument 2D is that 2D requires that might skill. Be more strategic. <laughs> that, right, yes. I think it's yes. a difference in approachability in terms of what you want to do with the content, which can be subjective. Does that make 2D or 3D think, better, though? Yeah. I, think, I mean, we're putting it in. Yeah, I think when you look at games like Breath of the Wild and the kind of combat and environments you have there, there's just no comparison. There's so many different types of environments in Breath of the Wild and so many different ways to engage in combat and so many different tools. I mean, not even talking about Tears of the Kingdom that go so far beyond like the little room boxes that you have in a 2D game to give you just more, like they can recreate those exact kind of environments. And I mean like you play the Wind Waker, you're in like the Earth Temple, uh, and there's those spike, they have the traps, the, the, spike, the spike traps um, that slide, and it's exactly like the old 2D games, but you're doing it in 3D, and there's a whole kind of new element of dimension to it that makes it more strategic because it's in 3D and you have to think about the whole environment that you're in. And there's just a lot more detail in those environments, so there's more ways for them to sneak in smaller things that you can do to strategize around your gameplay that just you can't do with a couple pixels on a screen. When they're designing for 3D, they know they're designing for that perspective, and they're designing puzzles and experience for that perspective as well. Um, and so, in that case, an Ocarina of Time spike trap versus a Link to the Past spike trap. You can see it coming. The challenge is avoiding it, whereas the same trap in Ocarina of Time, the challenge is not knowing it's there and getting caught off guard and how do you react. One of my I favorite things about practice. Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword is that the, there's such a large arsenal of stuff. Not saying there's not an arsenal in 2D Zelda games, but every enemy, there's a million different ways you can beat them. And there's a lot of versatility to what your tools can do to the environment around you. All right, well, we're going to move on to the next one because <laughs> of time. All right, this is too this tall. side. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm going to start off by saying that like, I'm, I would consider myself some of the younger Zelda generation, so it's like a little biased. Um, but so I wasn't, I wasn't old enough to play Ocarina of Time when it came out, basically. So I think my first Zelda game was Twilight Princess. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, is I was really young, so every Zelda game I played, I loved it, but I couldn't finish it because I was too stupid and I was a dumb kid. Uh, <laughs> so the first Zelda game that I actually ever finished was Skyward Sword. And I, I was not expecting that. I thought everyone hated that one. <laughs> I love Skyward Sword. I don't know. Uh, but even as I got older and I was like, oh, let me play um, some of the 2D titles. I tried playing Phantom Hourglass. I tried playing Spirit Tracks. I know you said they're top down, but I couldn't finish them. I, they didn't intrigue you me enough. You didn't miss much. <laughs> I, I just could not finish them. Even like last year, I bought the remastered version of uh, Link's Awakening. And I know it's, it's that weird. Was fun. It's weird, but I can't finish it. I have no desire to finish it. So that's my two cents. You know why? Why? No, I'm asking. Do you? Do you <laughs> oh. And do you um, know why? <laughs> it's just Let's not interesting. It's not you know. engaging no, enough. It's and fun. I like hard. I like hard difficulty games. That's not the problem. It's just not engaging enough for me to finish. Okay. I I have that issue with the Oracle games. I I. Uh, for, for some reason, and even the original Link's Awakening, I, they just don't hold my attention enough. Um, I Couldn't love, finish Manish Cap not, either. Not to, not to root for the other team for a second, but I love games like a, a, a Link to the Past and like the Minish Cap. They draw me in very well. But for some reason, those... Like, Only good 2D Zelda game, Minish See, Cap. But I was the opposite. Both Laughing Boy and you watched me play Link to the Past, and I was struggling I to get through it. I think you know, you know what really bugs me? You were, <laughs> you, were there in the, you were in my voice call with me when I was going to the dumb sand dungeon oh, and just could yeah. not make progress for like an hour. Because I missed a single pot that is unlabeled, unmarked, that had a key in it. Like, that's good game design? Oh, yeah, key pot, of course. Yeah, of course she didn't know about key pot. <laughs> that's 90s game design. Yeah, um, all right, let's yeah. try and get some rapid firing, because there's a long line, and we've only got 39 minutes. All right, uh, I'm going to come out. She, she was partially biased. I'm full biased. I, my first Zelda games were Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and Ocarina of yes. Time, in that order. 
I love the 3D games, I'm very pro 3D, but I do like the 2D games too, but I do happen to agree they are a little harder to finish. And one thing that I like about the 3D games is that perspective with your, you're in the room, you have to avoid the traps like what was already talked about, is it makes it more immersive and you get that like, you can really put yourself into like the, mm -hmm. I, it, I don't know if anybody still names themselves anything other than Link, but. I always give my name. Yeah, if you put, if you put your own in, name in there, it, it, it oh, fits the bill. I guess you can't. <laughs> but um, another point I wanted to bring up too as to why 3D games were better is, apart from subjective being better from I prefer 3D games, objectively speaking if you look at like the sales of tears of the kingdom or like the 3d games like that like don't get me wrong the 2d games are great and i'm sure they sold fantastically but the 3d games just sell better and there has to be a reason for that right switch was also a weird 3D anomaly prince for money. nintendo yeah. <laughs> i have a quick question um, sorry i know we were doing rapid fire but how did it feel going, because it feels like you went backwards. Like you said Twilight Princess, Wind Waker to Ocarina. How did Wind it Waker, feel? Wind Waker, Twilight, Ocarina were my favorite. Wind Waker, three. Twilight, Ocarina. How did it feel like to go from like Twilight Princess like back to Ocarina? The water temple was not as hard as people say it was. <laughs> I agree, but I also question, had a player's though, Did you do it on time, the 3DS so. or did you do it on the N64? Wii U emulating. Oh my god. Oh. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, I, I played all three of those. All three of those were on the Wii U. I'm with you. <laughs> all right. It was hard when I was 10. All right, this side. Hello. Hello. So I'm also on the younger side of fans. Um, my first game was Spirit Tracks. And I'm then sorry. I played. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love the game. I, I love I'm glad the game. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoy Spirit Tracks. I enjoy Phantom Hourglass. I think the DS games are fantastic. I want them on Switch. But. Um, I am on Team 3D because, and this might be a very basic answer, but just the sword play. I'm okay. just a fan. Um, you see in Twilight Princess all the uh, different skills you get from the hero shade. I think it's just, it's great. The oh. mechanics are all fantastic. Yeah, and I, Minish Cap did something like the sword skills. Yeah, like, you press like Twilight B. Twilight Princess, which is what I'm saying. Like, they, they were not as impressive. They didn't feel as, as rewarding as some, the ones in like Twilight Princess and even Wind Waker, I think, had some too. I think that's also the extra polish you get in a 3D game where they've got everything very fluidly animated and you, you really feel all... Usually. Yeah. Usually. Usually. Like in a, in a 2D game, you're just not feeling like the, the action the way you are in a 3D game where it's happening right in front of you. Zelda is very much a You Are Link series. And you feel that more in a 3D game than a 2D game. All right, so um, I, I, I'm fully on Team 3D. Uh, take my opinion with a grain of salt, because one of my favorite games is Skyward Sword. But, but that might just be like the hundreds of hours I have in it playing the game. So, uh, but um, I, I feel like uh, 3D Zelda games not only have more ways to enjoy them, like I always enjoy people watching watch people play 3D Zelda games, whether that be through randomizers or speedruns, speedruns especially. 3D Zelda games are way more enjoyable for speedrunning. Um, and uh, also just, you know, you don't see any 2D Zelda games being nominated for big time awards. <laughs> Well, they weren't there at the time. <laughs> I mean, they, they, they had some, like, publishers for awards. Jeff and Keighley like wasn't born yet, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, also, 3D Zelda music is better. I said that. Mm -hmm. It is very true. Interesting, interesting. That's a take. Uh, this side. I'm going to play both sides for a second. Okay. The, the single best thing about 2D Zelda is that a lot of them let you do dungeons out of order. You can play the games kind of however you want. But the single best thing about 3D Zeldas is largely the side content. There's a lot more to do besides the main story. And the 2D games just really don't have a lot of it. Mostly because of, you know, hardware limitations. Most of them are on, like, the Game Boy or something, but... I would, no, I yeah, totally I would, that. To, would you want to yeah, see a 2D I mean, game you, with you a lot of side? See them more as they as you like progress <laughs> and get to like more recent times. But like the 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 idea, especially about older top-down Zelda games, was that back then you just didn't really have side quests. That just wasn't a thing in console gaming back in the in the 80s and 90s. 
Um, I mean, I more feel like so now like I spend PC more time sure, on but. side quests than I do on the main story. Um, I, I feel like yeah. Breath of the Wild is mostly just side content. Oh, yeah. That's what makes it fun. So is Tears, which is why I haven't felt like going back into yeah, it. Yeah, same. Well, even a more modern 2D, like uh, Link Between Worlds, I think might be the most yeah. modern original one. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, and it still has, yeah. like, it's more so collectathon based, mm -hmm. their side content. Yeah. And yeah. that's the same thing with Minish Cap, just somebody in the audience like a minute ago. Um, like the whole trading quest with the kinstones is is a side quest. You start to see those as you progress, but back in like the 90s, um, like especially as you start to get into the 3D era, like that just wasn't a thing. All right, let's move on the side. <clears throat> Friends, Hyruleans, countrymen, lend me your ears. <laughs> I come not to bury 3D Zelda. Or I come to bury 3D Zelda, not to praise it. Oh, okay. And I should actually That's preface cool. that, that I love Wind Waker. I think Toon Link and Tetra are the definitive Woo! versions Woo! of the characters. Woo! And Phantom Hourglass I... and Spirit Tracks are not that bad. Right, well, we'll stop you there. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Spirit They're not that bad. Wind Waker's great. That's good. Let's call it. But, but. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I think that you can't ever top Link to the past. It's such a perfect game. It took everything from the first game and it just made it better, dialed it up to 11. It's a reason why people still say it's the number one Super Nintendo game that doesn't have Mario in it. Um, but I think we can have a compromise too between 2D and 3D. And that compromise is 3D.GameHeroes. <laughs> Hell yeah, I know what you're talking about. That was before From Software got popular. Uh, yeah, um, I think, well, I think both uh, Legend of Zelda styles are very good in their own right. I'm more of a 3D person, mainly because I grew up playing 3D games first, and I'm more accustomed to using the analog stick to control the camera. And my favorite Zelda game has to be also Wind Waker. Well, uh, a big reason, not just uh, for, for how it plays, I love the art style, I love the aesthetic and the tone, and it reminds me of the Studio Ghibli film, which makes me very confused and perplexed as to why people didn't like it at first. Zelda. <laughs> well, does every Zelda game, does Zelda have to be all dark and serious all the time? Back why not just... A lot just, of people really thought it did. did. Again, and with the Studio ghibli style. Had, like, and I, I don't know, it doesn't matter which team I'm but talking it, about right especially now. On, <laughs> no, I'm especially, with you. <laughs> especially yeah, the yeah. Wii U version. It's so beautiful and cute and appealing. I mean, even I when people, it, in interviews when they were talking about Wind Waker back in when it came out on GameCube, they were like, we did it this way because we want, we realized that like, 3D graphics wouldn't age well, and we wanted to create a game that would age well, and Wind Waker actually does. Like, they, they did what they set out to accomplish. Yeah, maybe in the future they'll return to it someday, that, yeah. that art style. Well, I think that is a great point, because a lot of the 3D Zelda games have aged, I think, a lot better as a whole, like, graphically. There's some exceptions, I will fully admit, Twilight Princess is yeah. aged poorly, but like, Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild, Wind Waker, those are all going to age really well because of their art style. I actually think and I guess the more stylized it is, the more it ages well, is what Wind Waker has taught us. I think even, even when you have a 3D game that is going for some version of realism, like the N64 games or Twilight Princess, right? Twilight Princess, as long as you realize it's through the lens of a GameCube game, like it looks, still looks good. Uh, when they remade it, it, it looked a little worse, right? Yeah. The, in the original, it still looked you know, pretty, pretty good for how they made it, so... Um, yeah, no, I don't Thank know. you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All, right. All right, this side. So I wanted to say that um, I don't think there's a really a bad Zelda. So, um, except for maybe the CDI games, but no, they don't really count those. those They're gems. They're historical. But I got to argue on Team 3D, all the characters in 3D are way better. You got Midna, of the, the princess yeah. of Twilight. <laughs> You've got Girahim, who's just a super edgy uh, demon lord. You've, Ganondorf is only in 3D. Ganondorf is only in a 3D Zelda games. Four There's swords. no two. Four swords Adventures. Oh, but he turns Not into Ganondorf. Ganon, so. Is, he, is there Ganondorf? No. Dwarfs and yeah. Oh, I need to finish that passe. Oh, yeah. okay. So uh, the characters are, are way better. There we go. I mean, I, got, I can't argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Sidon. Sidon is 3D. That's true. <laughs> so like, no, that's pretty cool. We love Princess Hilda. All right. Go ahead. I'm with, I'm with Team 2D. Yeah. Because it, oh. makes us, it makes me feel like I'm back in the past, and it's a lot easier for newbies like me. Oh. I love it. 
so yeah. more accessible. I can't argue with that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be back in the past. I mean, I, I mean, you know, that comment older. aged me by about 30 years. Yeah, me too. I appreciate it nonetheless. Yeah. No, and I totally get it because I'm thankful that I learned gaming back during the NES era. And I just, I can't imagine picking up a game for the first time and it be something like as complicated as Twilight Princess or Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild. Because when I was five, I mean, I was doing great doing two buttons and a D-pad. Yeah, and I think they're a little bit easier for me to replay. So. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Next. And what do you also call this like kind of nostalgia where you weren't there, but you actually have nostalgia because it's like an antique experience, like you feel like you're back in another era? Pity. Again, I feel like my back is breaking just hearing that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't really relate to hurting. any of you on this. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all make me feel old as a 21 year old. Oh, child. Oh. I, just wanted, I just wanted to hear the audience groan. <laughs> All right. So, I wanted to say that uh, while Team 2D, I will agree that they did, set the, uh, they did set the template for a bunch of games. They did lay the framework that a lot of games nowadays you can look back and say, hey, that, you can definitely see how Zelda influenced it. I'm on Team 3D saying that. They're right now with the Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild, they're setting the standard that a lot of games are trying to recreate that games not Zelda aren't even able to fully mirror the 3D Zelda quality. Like people look at that and they say like, their tr games nowadays are trying to mimic it and not even reaching it. And I just gotta say the graphics of 3D, it's got better looking characters, better looking graphics, it's got better looking foods that uh, mar <laughs> that marbled rock roast. I mean, those bananas in Link's Awakening were just mwah. <laughs> the rotten food in Breath of the Wild. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, Highly actually, that might count as 2D with Zelda the pixels. I'm not sure. Yeah. I can't imagine hey, that's being, 2D. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I can't imagine a Goron crime ring in the 2D Zelda games. But I saw it in 3D Zelda. <laughs> Yeah, organized crime. You can only get that in 3D. I'm going to put that on there. Organized, organized crime. crime. <laughs> what a perk. I think that's on the plus, right? Yeah. Hello. 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 First of all, it's weird hearing myself. But second, if this were outside the panel, I would be like, hey, everyone, play the Zelda games that you want to play. 2D or 3D, doesn't matter. True. That's good general yeah. advice. Yeah. But... But for for the of violence, <laughs> yeah, you will for play the, Zelda two and you will like it. <laughs> for the sake of this panel, I'm on Team 3D because, well, a, I grew up with the 3D games, and you know, eventually I went back to the 2D ones. But I feel like I feel better immersion in 3D. Like, the way that things are presented, like, you know, all those cutscenes that you see in the 3D games are very immersive, like, especially Skyward Swords with its great story. So, If I wasn't on 2D, uh, Team 2D, I'd tell you how proud of you I am for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> it does have a good Yeah, story. same. Yeah, no. It's just the, it's just the immersion of, uh, well... It's like, with 2D, yeah, you can read lines of dialogue and you can definitely get immersed that way, but in 3D, you have like, you have like cinematic cutscenes. Like, those cutscenes in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, great cutscenes. And, and also in Skyward Sword 2, the way they're presented are just great. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Cinematics. <laughs> Cinematography. Like, seeing facial expressions just goes a long way. Absolutely. I'm getting really mm. nervous for these next four in particular. Skyward Sword Link is the best one. <laughs> these, these next four in particular. Skyward Sword Link has the best pants. Oh, God. Are you going to put this Why are you looking at Link's pants? Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 Everyone say hi, Jiggy. Sir, what's your question? Hi. Hi, Jiggy. This is not about me. This is about <laughs> Zelda. It's about you right now. So it's, it's, a, it's about Zelda. So I have a question for the panel, and I think Amanda should make a brand new 
new slide for this question. Okay. But I need to put you in a scenario first. Oh, okay. Okay? No. All right. So you're, you're on a hot day to Chili's. <laughs> and you, What's our next question? You, <laughs> Dan, Dan, I, you I, I you're, can't you're, help, you're I can't enjoying you, you're enjoying your your okay. hot chicken crispies and your margaritas. I'm not enjoying them because they took away the tempura batter. Ooh. I didn't know that. All right, <laughs> we can take it up with corporate. But I'll, you're enjoying your your hot and fresh meal, and the, your your date says I've never played a Zelda game. So the question for the panel, whether you're on team 3D or 2D or team like I am, every Zelda game is good except for uh, Triforce Heroes. Uh, the question is, what Zelda game do you recommend to somebody who has never, ever played a game in the franchise? Twilight Princess. Oh, Breath of the Wild, easy. No, but answer for what team you're on. So give a 2D answer for if you're on 2D. I would probably do Switch version of Link's Awakening. Mm. That's a good one. Uh, I would say the CDI games. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's for once you're a real fan. Love how quickly you had a backtrack. Um, I would say... Such a high like entry price for that. <laughs> I mean, if you like if you like playing Link's Awakening and you got a thousand dollars, play these really bad games. Um, but I would say Minish Cap only because I regret mm. waiting so long to play the Minish Cap, and it quickly became one of my top five Zelda games. Yeah. I mean, I think if we're talking about like, okay, you've never played a Zelda game before, like my idea is play a game that. If you were to play any other Zelda game after that, you would kind of understand or like see things in other Zelda games and be like, yeah, that's interesting, or I get that. And I think for me, that is like Link's, uh, Link to the Past. Like, it is the template for which every 3D Zelda game afterwards basically follows, besides like Minish Cat, or sorry, uh, besides Majora's Mask. Um, but in terms of what you should expect from a Zelda game, um, I would say Link to the Past if I were picking 2D, Ocarina of Time if I was picking 3D, because for the same reasons, basically. No, I totally get that, because I played A Link to the Past, like, way later. I don't think I played that until, like, 2018, something like that. It was like pretty that. recent. It was mm. very recent when I played it, and there were so many things that I'm just going, oh, everything makes so much more sense now. <laughs> like, from personal experience, Ocarina was my first. I had Ocarina and Link's Awakening at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I played both of those games. It was two very different flavors of Zelda, but like playing Ocarina of Time, I felt like is a good enough like template for understanding all the games that come after it and before it and Link to the Past, basically the same thing. Gotcha. Now I say for my, and I actually run into this situation pretty often, um, like at like my day job too, where people generally like do not play video games and they don't know Zelda. My recommendation is always genuinely Breath of the Wild. And I think it like kind of speaks for itself why Breath of the Wild should be the one that people play first, because it's the first of the modern generation. And I think it does a lot of things better than Tears of the Kingdom. To find out more, come to the Tears of the Kingdom Ultra panel tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Yeah. So what a plug. Uh, and what I tell people is like the brilliance of Breath of the Wild, even though I think it's really big, it's designed so that you only have to go to like the shrines. Basically, there's like 20 minutes of gameplay between each shrine. <laughs> so you can kind of play it in small bursts, and the game doesn't feel so big. And so that's what I always tell people is play Breath of the Wild, play it in 20 minute bursts. Hey, You'll have a good time. Sorry, I'm trying to get <laughs> I feel like if I played Tears of the Kingdom in 20 minute bursts, it would probably take me about 13 years to actually find it. Are, are, are you having some issues there, Amanda? Yes, sorry. Thank okay. you for specifying, by the way, uh, Amanda. No My hands shake. Sometimes I have a hard time moving the mouse. You're doing great. All right, thank you. I can't believe a question great, asker sweet. asked Amanda to make a new slide on the fly. Just <laughs> disrespect. I can believe it. Uh, I can believe it. It's jiggy. Um, <laughs> it, it, my answer depends. It depends on the person asking and figuring out what's important to them, right? If they are someone who appreciates open world, choose your own adventure, modern controls, modern, you know, quality of life stuff, Breath of the Wild is the obvious choice. Um, if they care more about story and having context about if I'm going to play this first, I'm going to play future games and do that. Like, I love Twilight Princess, but I wouldn't say start with that because you enjoy that a lot more if you've played Ocarina of Time first, right? 
Um, so Ocarina of Time would probably be one if you're looking to like get into Zelda and are ready to commit to that and like story is important and you don't mind playing a, a slightly aged game. Um, otherwise, for just like you know, uh, like uh, little kids especially or anyone who uh, enjoys just that flavor of uh, gameplay, Breath of the Wild. I am sitting here debating between Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword because my favorite parts of both those games are the dungeons. I think they have some of the most unique dungeons mm -hmm. and settings Whoa. in the series, just for dungeons in particular. Um, I think they're both really beginner friendly. I think they've got a lot of like fun side content, but I don't think they're so difficult that you need to go out of your way that you could just do the main story if that's what you wanted to do. Um, so I would say either Skyward Sword or Twilight Princess. Now I want to say if for dungeons, if you want to like recommend for dungeons specifically, I think Twilight Princess is the clear winner here. Woo! Not only does it have like as many dungeons as any other 3D Zelda, but it has like several extra because they brought in the canceled ones from the Wind Waker. I think that's so, just a point for 3D in general, though. <laughs> Absolutely. All of this is a point for 3D. None of you, <laughs> none of you said, said my, I'm being cut off right now. I'm being cut off. <laughs> Thank you so much. You, none of you said um, mine. Actually, the, the closest was, a, was Amanda, and, and I'm, I'll, I'll say here, and then I'll let, let it go, but... <laughs> My personal recommendation for the first uh, Zelda game that you've never played, never at all, is A Link Between Worlds for the Nintendo yes. 3DS. That's a good one. That's a good one. Because the en entry barrier and the knowledge that you need of a Zelda game, every single game on there other than A Link's Awakening, you kind of have to know the structure, including Ocarina of Time. I actually think Ocarina of Time is overrated, but we can talk about that later. No. But uh, A Link Between <laughs> we'll Worlds lets there. the player who's never played a Zelda game just play the game and have fun and do whatever the, he the heck they want. I, as much as I like the idea, I also want them to keep playing Zelda games afterwards. And I feel like if I were to recommend <laughs> A Link Between Worlds, there's so much, there's almost too much freedom. Like, that's why I would never recommend the first Zelda game, right? Like, as much as I want to be Team 2D, I would never, ever, ever recommend the very first Zelda game because it is hard and it's not approachable for somebody who's like, especially if they haven't played a lot of video games. <laughs> if you play 3D Dot Game Heroes, go play the first Zelda, right? But like, if you haven't played a lot of video games before, I would prefer that they kind of play a game because like, I feel like Ocarina of Time or A Link to the Past are a little bit more handholdy to that regard. But thank you. Thank you for your 10 minute thank question. You, thank you for your 10 minute question. All right. Oh, well, I get to follow that. Great. <laughs> yeah. Make it 20 minutes. Hey, I have 16. Well, uh, as, as some of you may know, I actually started on the very first Zelda game when I was about 10. I'm, I, I am older than I look. He's and, married to me also. Yeah. <laughs> she she told me to get up here. She has 25. So I, of course, have a fond, fondness for the 2D. And but was reintroduced to the whole Zelda series because at that age, I loved the original Zelda and then I got Adventures of Link and I hated it and I kind of <laughs> gave up on Zelda for about 10, 15, 20 years. <laughs> but then uh, we played Skyward Sword and I fell back in love with the whole series again. So I'm kind of split on the whole 2D, 3D, but I sounds see like a 3D to me. Sounds yeah. like yeah, it it like sounds like it. It but. sounds like you're on the opposite side of your wife right now. <laughs> but I, that sounded like a threat. Does your hotel room have a couch? Dang. There's no couch in the hotel room. I'm on 2D. All right, anyway. Um, so one of the things that I'm seeing up here is the progression of technology and 3D has that in spades. It's got all of the growth that 2D kind of took care of for it. it 2, 2D, uh, what, what was it said earlier? 2D, 2D walks walk so 3D can run. Could run. Yes. <laughs> yeah. but, I'd like to but I'd like to compare it to, I think the best 3D game so far is the latest and greatest. It's Tears of the Kingdom in, in my mind. But I'm, I'm going to compare that to the latest and greatest of the 2D, which is, for me, uh, A Link Between Worlds. And yeah. yeah. I was afraid of that. I got him going again. Um, but Shut up, here, But here's, here's something that I think that hasn't been mentioned for 2D yet, and it's something that I think 
it had, I mean, it definitely had story. It had story, it had uh, great humor, and one odd thing I, I ju that uh, just occurred to me in line was sound effects. The sound effects in 2D are so much more evocative because maybe, th maybe they have the same sound effects in 3D, but they get lost because you see that object. But when you're rustling through leaves or dodging things or having things flying at you, ha hearing the distinct sound effects kind of immerse you more, I think, into 2D. The energy awesome. yeah. from Link to the Past is I feel like you just changed your answer because you got ever. scared halfway yeah. through. Mm -hmm. You started really that's, hard that's for 3D, <laughs> and then somehow we ended on 2D good. No, I think that's a pretty good answer. I, I really yeah. appreciate you, Dan. And yeah, that's right. Thank Thanks, you for honey. doing your part for democracy. <laughs> All right. I can't see your face, but I can see the slime on your shirt, and that's... Aww, so cute. Man. More Love people it. need to play Dragon Quest. Thank you. <laughs> anyway. All right. All right. Your turn. I kind of lost for a second. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a big fan of the 2D games, and uh, one of the things that I've noticed between the 2D and the 3D is that a lot of the 3D games were kind of building up on what A Link to the Past came up with. The world exploration, the dungeons, like that whole format where you gather the three pendants, the seven crystals, like all of that could be seen throughout like Ocarina of Time. You could see that to an ex a much lesser extent in uh, Majora's Mask, although that one was a lot more uh, experimental than Twilight Princess, similar. But one of the things that I was curious about is one of the complaints that I've heard about, uh, I, I might get a few enemies for this, but things like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, great games after all. But the argument being that that don't feel like a Zelda game, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Like, they're great games, but they don't feel like they follow that formula. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, they... I, I, I'd like to hear the opinion from the group up about something like that. We've, we've heard the same thing. I mean, I feel like it's intentional. I, they, they realized after Skyward Sword, because whether you like Skyward Sword or not, I think there was a lot of pushback in terms of whether or not the, game, the games themselves were becoming too linear and too story dependent. And there was a while that like, people considered linear like a bad word just about it, which personally I have no problem with linearity. I think it's great. And that's why they went with the Breath of the Wild because yeah. everybody's like, oh, it's so linear. And I swear, I feel like some people just learned that word for the first time and started <laughs> using that to explain I, the I, thing they did. I learned that word when I played Final Fantasy 13. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess one of, my, one of the uh, questions I had was, what about the evolution of like the dungeon structure? Like how, how the 2D ones have like the developed dungeons. Mm -hmm. The before Breath of the Wild, they had the the dungeons. Yeah. But after Breath of the Wild, they had more like the little, like hundreds of puzzles. Like, I think, like it's the it's the theme of the panel apparently, where uh, 2D uh, walks so that 3D runs, and you see that in a microcosm in just Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, right? They were trying a new dungeon structure, and they made it better. I don't know if they've gotten there yet, but they made it better in Tears of the Kingdom, right? The same thing applies to the early 2D games versus the later 3D games. Like they, especially with Link to the Past, they set sort of the formula. The 3D games took that formula and made it better. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. All right. All right, we don't have much time, so let's go ahead and go on to another lightning round. A uh, quick clarification. Top down was 2D, right? That's yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so 2D just wins. Hands down. <laughs> okay. Because go away, people. Okay, I like four, that. Go away. Four like that swords. That's Zelda, I can play with the three people on the left side of this panel. <laughs> oh, no. What Zelda game can you all play together? 
Oh yeah, Triforce Heroes. That's a good one. Yeah, right. I hate That's that. That's also top ten. Can you like enjoy Wild, Zelda with Online your friends? Mod that got shut yeah. down. Why no. are you right? No, you can't. <laughs> yeah. You can play Twilight Online. All right, look. <laughs> Twilight. Up to wait, but Four Swords Adventures Twilight also Princess. has Tetra Tracker. <laughs> Which right. is 3D. No, 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 no. no. Much time, so we're gonna keep going. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, nothing I'm gonna say is new to what's been already said. Um, for me, it's 2D mainly because of the fact that the dungeons feel more unique to me personally. That isn't to say that Twilight Princess isn't a fantastic game and its dungeons are incredible. Um, but I will concede to two points. One, 3D, m more unique characters, which is fantastic. And two, yes, 3D runs. Out of stamina. <laughs> Thank you for your vote for Team 3D. <laughs> so, I am Team 2D. Yay! My first experience, the Eventual Link Zelda 2. Wow. wow. Mainly you kept going? <laughs> no, my six year old mind couldn't really fathom the action RPG, so I went back to moving from left to right, getting from A to B, moving on to the next level. Mm -hmm. But, what 3D game is, can you argue, Link being the anti-hero? Something I pondered over when I played the Link's Awakening remake. A game so dark that it doesn't beat you over the head with it, and the Playmobil aesthetic does make it feel a little off-putting. It's the only game where I can really argue that he saves himself. He's not saving the princess, he's not saving Hyrule, He's saving himself. And also for Team 3D, isn't the Warriors games spinoffs multiplayer or no? That's right. They are. <laughs> That's right. You're not, don't play the multiplayer? Okay. Play the multiplayer. I think Age of Calamity is not. Or is it? It is? It local, is. local. Well, there you go. So it sounds like a vote for 3D. Sounds like <laughs> no, 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 no. That's an no, interesting no, no. perspective. Though. I, I do like the idea because like, and it's funny because now that you said that Link's Awakening almost feels more Ghibli-esque to me in terms of storytelling because it's... Twin Peaks. This, well, there's that too. I, a lot of people talk about Twin Peaks with that one. But, I forgot yeah. about that one. All right. All right. I just have a little rebuttal for Team 3D on their revolutionary changes point. Um, somebody else already brought up Four Swords Adventures, but you also... Yeah. In three of the 2D Zelda games, you don't even... Yeah, you don't even play as Link. If I'm not mistaken, that's um, either the Wand of Gamma on the Faces of Evil, and there was the third one where they actually had actors. But um, as, far as, a, yeah. as far as the Zelda games on actual Nintendo consoles, the Zelda view of Link's Awakening, you were given a, a Pokemon-style character selection screen. So, and they even changed the story a little bit, so you weren't even playing as Link. He was off doing yes, something else. Zelda. You're your own Stella View avatar playing in, in Hyrule. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Wait, why is Cat Zelda? Play, the can't play as Link. Yeah, you can have creator. Tingle in 3D. Yeah. Well, I guess you do, but. It was me as <laughs> before me's were Tingle in 3D. Zelda character but creator? But you can play as Tingle in Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. Yes. Which is a 2D game. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so I think Tingle's Rosy Rupee yes. Land. That was my question. Y'all really want to argue that. Tingle's Rosie Ruby Land is helping you? No, I want to hear that. Yeah, I, I would, honestly. <laughs> I'm looking forward. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, that's loud. So I feel really bad for Team 2D, so I'm going to give you a whole list of points, unless they were already mentioned. They have more. One. <laughs> when? No, 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 not they enough. Up like six <laughs> points. No, not more. enough. Not enough. I, I just yeah, want to be a devil's advocate. Yeah, I could, uh, we could use a few more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're so, so so one is, uh, you know, 2D, right? It's pixel. I and mean, I feel like nowadays there's been a return to a lot of like pixel art. And I feel a lot of that has been inspired by, you know, like Zelda. So aesthetic wise, I think it's got it. Everything is 3D, everything is flashy, but I think 2D itself is very nice. There's something about having, you know, the limitations of the hardware. You only have access to like four colors, but you still make Link like very visible. Mm -hmm. um, another thing, I don't know if this was mentioned before, but um, I forget the name of the game right now because I'm so tired, but there was like that funny yeah. spin-off, right? Um, the one that people make fun of where Link is like, oh, can I get a kiss from Zelda? And they oh, have like that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that is, has such a cultural impact, Yes. you know? <laughs> I mean, people can make memes about, you know, things that happen in Breath of the Wild, but 
that, you know, to this day, people still make fun of it. People can still look at it and be like, oh, it's that one terrible thing that happened. So <laughs> 2D is great. Right. And I think that's all I got. I think you it's... really don't have much time. All right, lightning round, this side. I've been playing Zelda since the, my dad has introduced me to the NES, who is with me right now. But I'm only going for Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom for one reason, and that is you can throw a cuckoo into a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a crime. I think it's a right. crime. No one has brought up Link's crossbow training yet. Right. You can the best Zelda right. game. We'll the make best sure we get to our trivia question. And only in 3D. Oh, we have trivia. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We got. We got to yeah. do trivia. I'll go quick on it. Um, I think regardless of either of these, we probably want to see both 3D and 2D Zelda on Switch successor. And you already mentioned Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land, but I think that the most most underrated Zelda game is Ripen Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love. <laughs> the English translation is available, people. Yes. Play it. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm on Team 3D. Um, my favorite game is Tears of the Kingdom. And for what was said earlier, Breath of the Wild is an investment. Um, <laughs> and on this list, there's easier starting point. I guess I'm arguing against that. Because I've played multiple of the earlier Zelda games. In the first, like, the original one. That one's hard. It took me more than 45 minutes to find, like, a second cave. Same. Yeah. Um, and same with, like, uh, I forget what it's called. Oh, yeah, A Link to the Past. It took me so, I had to throw away so many bushes to find that one entrance into the castle. Mm -hmm. Um... Well, with the 3D Zelda games, it feels more straightforward yeah. and kind of leading you into what's next. Um, and I know I'm on Team 3D, but I guess except for Tears of the Kingdom, because who else found the pants in that room and kept the next 20 minutes looking for the shirt? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> who else did that? Yeah. Wow. yeah. Nintendo knew what they were doing. Um, yeah. All right, yeah. we have time for one more. One more. One more. All right. So I'm on Team 2D, and for me, the most important factor is that I can't play the 3D games. They literally make me physically sick because of the camera movements. Oh. Um, I hear that a lot about first-person right. games. Right. I know you guys said one more, but I have a great question for all of you. Okay. So I am your camera operator, and let's okay, give a great hand to all these guys. Thank you. All right, so my father worked for Nintendo. Oh, nice. He, Okay. Yes, he did, mar he did marketing distribution for Nintendo from 84 to 93, and then he went back in 98. But he also worked for Sega and PlayStation, and he did marketing distribution for all three game companies. It was incredible. I had an amazing game collection back in 2001, which was over 16,000 video games because of my father. Wow. But my father bestowed one thing on me, and that was storytelling. And being that he loved RPGs, he loved Link to the Past. He had multiple and multiple copies of this game. He also had Earthbound and a little game called Chrono Trigger. <laughs> so, his, so here's my question. Which Zelda game, to all of you guys, means the best story. Skyward Sword. <laughs> okay. We can hurry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh you want, okay. Yeah, uh, geez. I would probably say Skyward Sword as well. 3D game, by the way. <laughs> oh, I'm aware. Mary? Yes. Yeah. I, I said Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword. I think it's between Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess for me. Twilight, Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess. Can we all 3D games? I think that's yes. a point. For so, <laughs> do we do we want to have them raise hands to vote? Because I think you've okay, rigged this nice. list a little. All right. Well, we've got some trivia. I don't know why it's not showing up as a slideshow, but you know what? That's okay because I can make this thing work. All right. Question is first trivia question: The original Legend of Zelda first released in Japan on what date? You got All right. Well, okay. Yes. Date and day? Just yell it out. You were so close, but no. Wow. Yes. 
You got the 1986 part. Is it time? Okay, we're at time. Okay. Yep. In the 20s, yeah. The 20s? <laughs> In the 20s. I'll say, <clears throat> we have to wrap it up. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say, sure. So you got the February, you got the month and the year correct. So it's February 21st. Okay, wrap uh, it so up. So 3D wins. Thank you, guys. Okay. <laughs> 3D wins. <laughs> All right, and finally, this, go ahead and come pick this up. It is a copy of Minish Cap. Or uh, the manga. manga. The manga, it's, it's a book. sorry. Minish Cap manga. Not manga. Yeah, be right. specific. And then finally, this vehicle from another game was left in the Ocarina of Time code. Developers used it to test flight patterns. What is it? Very good. Come on up here. You are getting an autographed copy of RZ. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> nice. All right. By the developers. Thank you all so much for joining us. We've got to get out of here because yep. there's another thing coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.